Let me just ask you a question. Have you ever wondered how you can turn from this into this in the shortest amount of time, mostly an hour or so? Well, do I have the news for you? There is no magic trick to it, you just gotta play the game unfortunately. However, there are some methods better than others to do it, and today, I, Arden Wokter, will have the pleasure to teach you young Padawans. There are three methods to grow, we got solo questing, group questing, and trophy hunting. I will also talk about the safest questing areas, and the most dangerous one. The footage took a lot of time to get, so if you got anything out of this, please hit that red button and bell to show you the support to the channel. And without further ado, let's get to it. To start us off, you need to fulfill quests to grow in Path of Titans. Solo questing is the first and easiest method for a player to start off at, and it can be anything from collecting certain items such as acorns. Once the right amount has been met, a player is rewarded with a certain amount of growth. After fulfilling a certain amount of quests, the player will grow into the next growth phase. Group quests are the same in principle, but you do quest in groups with people you meet in-game. Group quests does give more work than solo quests, but they also give bigger rewards. Before I talk about the third method, trophy hunting, we need to talk about location and active danger in the game, so we can understand the method 3 better. We can find quests almost everywhere throughout the map, however, some quests, even in solo, does give more than others. Quest to the right is the most standard quest in the game, so you need to keep your eyes open for the good ones. I also forgot to mention, the group quest rewards players based on their contribution to the quest. If you do a group quest solo, you will get a lot of growth. Therefore, it is highly encouraged to group up with adults as they do not need more growth, and they can provide protection. Personally, I would suggest staying within a certain part of the map. The quest that encourages you to move around will only bring you around in a circle, and even if it breaks the circle, ignore the new area until the cycle is restored and to keep yourself out of dangerous areas. Speaking of dangerous areas, if we take a look on the map I drew, by the way, this map is drawn out from one's subjective observation, any future changes may cause this map to be invalid. In any case, it's pretty self-explanatory. The center of the map from north to the middle has the highest player activity, and the highest death count. There are still chances you'll run into other players everywhere on the map, but the chances of them wanting to kill you are slimmer. Now, if you're a small creature, you would think that it would be best to keep up from center. This brings me into the last and most dangerous but high rewards method. The method involves placing yourself in the middle of the big boys. When an adult of any creature dies, he will drop a teeth or a claw etc which will be turned into a trophy. It goes like this. You got a trophy. Good job. Bring it to your home cave. will turn into decoration. And a lot of growth. A whopping almost 3 minutes of growth. That is the most growth you can get since the tutorials. However, I can see you thinking just, oh, I'ma do that. Remember, you are placing yourself among the big guys. And if you let your guard down, that will happen. And now you stuck looking like a moron, and you lost some growth. However, I am not here to tell you how to play, just to give advice. So to sum it up, if you want to grow the fastest way, team up with people, mostly adults, and combine method 2 and 3 together. I'm not saying method 1 is bad, I have grown over 10 creatures doing method 1. However, if you want to grow the fastest, a combination of method 2 and 3 is the best. With that, I wish you good luck with growing and I will see you guys later.